Bomble Arena, her cat is going to be a very kind of elegant, athletic looking sort of, I think she's based on a Bengal cat, which I used to have a Bengal cat, so I know what they're like. They're crazy. Um, <laughs> they're like amazing cats, um, but very, um, very kind of with a wild streak. And Bomble Arena, the character, she's, She's sort of um, one of the bad cats. In my head, I categorize the cats as either good cats or bad cats in this in this musical. You have the good cats. You have you know Mr. Mistopheles, Monkey Strap, um, Victoria is a good cat, uh, Deuteronomy, Gus the theater cat, Buster for Jones. They're all really good cats. Jenny Any Dots. Then you have the bad cats, which is McCavity and Griddlebone, um, Rumple Teaser, um, Mungu Jerry, and Bombalerina. McCavity is the is the baddest bad cat. Uh, we kind of are mobsters in this world where we sort of will take what we want. We're not abiding by any cat laws, uh, and just sort of um, lying, stealing, cheating our way through life. And Bombalerina is this uh, sort of right hand man for McCavity. I think that Andrew Lloyd Webber's music is so impactful because it's so unabashedly emotional. It is, it's so unapologetically emotional. There's, there's absolutely no artifice in front of it. Um, the emotion is at the forefront of what you're hearing. And I think that's, that's really the, the trick to what has made his music so timeless, is that it leads with emotion. I think McCavity is such a fan favorite as a song because it's, um, it's definitely just so mischievous and so, um, so tongue in cheek and kind of funny at times. And, and it, it's just kind of fun to think of a cat, to picture this cat that really thinks that they think they're criminal masterminds. Uh, everybody's known that cat, <laughs> that, that by night they just wreak complete havoc. The song McCavity is, uh, is very mischievous and very um, slinky and kind of, um, it feels a little bit like a cabaret number. It's really, you know, it's just a very fun song to sing and really fun to dance to. And it's gonna be a very big number in this, in this movie. We've got just countless dancers that are a part of it and it's a big, huge moment. And I'm really stoked to get to get to be in that moment because it's an amazing part of the Broadway show and I think it's gonna be a really exciting part of the movie too. I think when you have this many dancers that have come together from all different styles of dance, um, it's, it's such a fun environment because, um, you know, there's, there are some of us <clears throat> here in the cast who are actors who've learned to dance and sing. There are some of us who are singers who have learned to act. There's some um, dancers who have learned to act and sing. It's, it's, it's amazing, like, basically, like, you have so many people coming together through all different corners of entertainment and, and learning together and kind of experiencing, you know, trying different things and improvising. And when you have that many different styles of performance coming together, it's, really, really exciting to be around. Cat School is so unique. Um, Sarah does Cat School and she's incredible. Basically, we go in and study the movements of a cat. It's, it's really exciting and fun to learn about, you know, how they, how they hold their posture, how they sense things, um, kind of, just the anatomy of a cat that can make it more conducive to how a human can inhibit that kind of spirit. And it's just so fun. I mean, cat school. If you told me I was gonna get to go to cat school every day for work,